Some years ago, in 1996, I was in our village in Mzarabani. And I remember very well it was on a Wednesday in the afternoon. And I was working in my father's field. And I engaged myself in prayer and fasting. And it was at this time when I was in a thatched shed right at the center of my father's field just seeking the face of God. When all of a sudden in a revelation, I was caught up and I was taken by the Spirit of God into a time in the past where God allowed me to have an experience. And I looked and I saw the people of Israel as they were coming from the land of slavery into the promised land. And in that revelation, I saw God's servant, Moses, as he was leading God's people. I looked at him, I saw everything about him, his appearance. I saw his face, I saw what he was putting on. And by the special grace of God, I was privileged to see the entire process of their deliverance. And then it was in that revelation when I saw Moses standing and I was made to look up into the sky. And then that's the day the God of Moses spoke to me. The same words that he spoke to Joshua. And he said to me, just as I have been with my servant Moses, so shall I be with you also. And this is happening in a revelation. What brought that revelation to an end was a physical, glorious manifestation of the presence of God which appeared that thatched shed was in flames and there were people with me present working in my father's field that can attest to what I'm saying now that saw this manifestation but they also came running only to realize when they got to the place that it was not like that And they left their sprays in the field picked up some buckets of water. All these men, married men. Came rushing to quench the fire. And and when they got to the shed, they were making a lot of noise. That's how I was brought back from the vision. And then I stood up. I realized the whole shed was surrounded by people. And I couldn't understand what they were talking about. And all of them were busy looking for the fire. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? We saw fire. Where's... 
And then I'm trying to explain to them now, you guys, I saw something when I was in there. Nobody was listening. Of all the people that were there, they were busy looking for their fire. I don't want to go to the house. 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 It was after that incident. That's when I knew that God has called me into ministry. And God wants his people delivered. So just by looking at the ministry of Moses, I knew that God wanted me to deliver his people by his special grace from different kinds of afflictions. But the part that I didn't understand is how God was going to bring that to pass. The formula or the method through which God wanted to deliver his people from slavery into freedom. So, by his special grace, I engaged in another 70 days of prayer and fasting. And there was another visitation where God again took me back into time. And I saw his servant, Apostle Paul. Now it was during that revelation when God made me to understand. By looking at the nature of Paul's ministry, that's when God then combined the two, the ministry of deliverance. How God would have wanted me to deliver his people or how God wanted me to deliver his people the way Moses did. And then, looking at the ministry of Paul, God wanted his people to be delivered through information, through sound teaching of his word, and through deep revelations of his word. So then I knew that combining the two, that's what we have been doing up to where we are now. And we have seen notable and outstanding miracles. Because every time when God speaks, He is always present to bring His word to pass. And that is why in our ministry, we have seen all sorts of miracles that are beyond our imagination and beyond our finite minds. Mind-blowing miracles that we have seen. Prophecies that you can never imagine. By his special grace, the God of Moses spoke to me. He said to me, Son, there shall be a time when my word shall outgrow you. And you will not need to only lay your hands on people, but my word shall grow hands and it shall touch many people's lives. And that is exactly what we see happening during our time. A word is spoken and miracles take place. So we really want to thank God and we want to appreciate God for what we have seen up to where we are. And as you come and you hear what God is saying, the next thing that you'll have is an experience of that which God might have said to you, that you'll see the manifestation of the spoken word of God. The God of Moses spoke to me. The same words that he spoke to Joshua. And he said to me, just as I have been with my servant Moses, so, shall I be with you also. The God of Moses spoke to me.